We also have created some new functionality into the spools. So if I come back over here, for instance, and I want to go ahead and I want to create a spool, I want to go in here and I'm going to say I want to select, let's just say maybe these parts and these parts for a spool, and I'm going to go ahead and generate that, and then we'll go ahead and we'll open that. So we've also brought into the schedules here to total our pipe sizes by diameter and give you the total linear footages in your, in your schedules. We also, this was in 5.1, we had the auto dimension. We come back in here now and we say we want to pipe dimension all, and we can control these dimensions here from center to face, center, center to face or center to center of the fitting. These also have functionality to where if you come in here into your model space here and you click onto your dimension, you can come right up here and say you want to rotate that dimension in this view and just go ahead and click on the dimension and there you, I've rotated that to a different plane. So right inside the spool template you can do that now. Also we've added some new dimensioning functionality for compound rolled offsets. If we come back in here and I've taken the liberty to draw a compound rolled offset at this point, I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to create a spool of this. So as I create a spool of this compound rolling offset and I'll generate it, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this one up and we're going to go ahead and tell it we want to apply the automatic dimensions to this. So if we come back to say we want a dimension, pipe dimension all, it now adds our dimension cubes to give us our, our advance our rise and our offset for our compound rolled offsets. Big, big uh, improvement in, in the tagging the uh, dimensions onto the spools.